anytime somebody to give me a challenge, they're like, challenge, punk. I'm like, a challenge? <laughs> hey, dog, don't, don't challenge me. I'm like, what? Don't challenge you? Because I'm going to knock it out the park. Now, you guys have a stock challenge, and there's many ways to go about it. You have stash, Wealthfront, Wealth Simple, Acorns, Betterment. You have all these different ways in order to complete the stock challenge. What are you doing? This is your charge up. This is your charge up. This is your motivation to step up to the plate. Hey, Ross, where my money makes money. Step up to the plate and charge up. All these challenges I'm giving you is just a way, a method, in order for you to start. Now, a lot of us are competitive. If you're in a workplace and you're, you're new on the scene, you're fresh, you're hungry, you're like, who job I want to take? Who job I want to take? And you practice and you stay late and you work hard because... You in there to hurt some feelings. You're like, uh, you better not, you better not mess up. You next. And you're moving up the ladder. This is how I want you to take these challenges. Or either you're a sports person, okay? You got somebody, you backing them down, you're like, oh, they don't know I'm about to do this hook. I'm about to uh uh. Got him. This is your challenge. You need to get your stocks up. That's right. You need to get your stocks up. I don't care if it's by Robin Hood. I don't care if it's individual stocks, index stocks. ETF, stay away from mutual funds. Do, do, do. Fees, stay away from mutual funds. This is your challenge. This is another thing. Where are you at with the $1,000? Where are you at with the $1,000? The $1,000 challenge in your bank? Now, this is the thing. This is supposed to be in your bank. Don't say, oh, well, uh, I invested $1,000. Well, no. No. $1,000. <laughs> in your account that you're not going to touch for absolutely nothing. You're like, well, that's stupid. Why I'm just going to save $1,000 and do nothing with it? First and foremost, because I told you to. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Listen, guys, it's much bigger than me. It's much bigger than you. That $1,000, first and foremost, first of all, I want to see can you do it. Can you do it? I know you can do it, but can you do it? Will you do it? Okay. $1,000. $1,000. I want to see it. No, I, I really don't want to see it, but I want you to tell me the truth. Now, some of you already reached the $1,000 challenge. Guess what? You think you slick, don't you? You think you slick. Keep going. Keep going going until the time is out. Keep saving more money. Now, the thousand dollars for those who like, hey man, I'm living on a budget. You know, I'm gonna barely get to that thousand, um, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, then do it. Don't talk to me about it. Hey man, I'm halfway there. Listen, I'm here to encourage you, but I'm also here to kick you in your ass because I know you can do it. And for those who are close to a thousand, Keep going. And guess what? Leave that money over here. Leave that money over there. Leave it. It's not your emergency cash. It's not your uh, splurge cash. It's not your vacation cash. That cash can just be like, damn, I forgot I got $1,500 over there. Right? Here you are, $50, $60. Uh, uh, maybe you need to help somebody out. And you already living on a tight budget from your savings and investing from what you did in your 30s and 40s and 20s. See, I did that. 30s, 40s, and 20s, you put 20, never mind. But the point I'm making is, you're like, you know what? I've been saving this money long time ago back on Ross World, and I don't have a use for it because I'm, I'm good to go. So here you go. It can be a gift. It can be a gift. Charity, I give away the charity every year, mostly clothes because either the clothes are too small or too small. But anyway, that is what that money's for. Or it could be to send your kids off to college. I mean, are you doing a 529 college plan? That could be. Or it could be a gift to your kids like, hey, listen, I know you're grown now and you're getting the hell out of this house, but here's 
thousand, three thousand, four thousand $4,000. It doesn't matter who, you know, it doesn't matter what it's for, but you have the money there. And, and like I said, you can come up with the reason, but this is to stay in a high year savings account until you give it away or you absolutely need it. It could be for whatever, but let that money stand there a year or two. Don't even look at it. Forget about it. Forget about it, okay? Don't even look at it. This is a challenge. And I know you guys are up for it. So just do it. And last but not least, the 52-week challenge. First week, $1. Second week, $2. Third week, $3. So on and so forth. Onward with your finances. Onward with your state of mind. Listen, these challenges I gave you are absolutely easy because a lot of you crying out, crying out there about how you're broke, how you don't get paid enough. Now, let's take, for instance, you work at Burger King, you work at McDonald's, you work at Wendy's, you work at the gas station, but somehow you get geared up, you get beautified up, you get your eyelashes done, whether they're sold in or Velcroed. <coughs> Or glued, or you do the uh, eyelashes thing, I forgot, mascara, you do that. But nevertheless, what did it take to buy that mascara? Money. You buy a new outfit, or you buy some new stockings, or guy buy a suit. Where all is money coming from? You had to spend it somehow. So you have the money. You have the money, you're like, nah, dog, I ain't counseling cable, dog, nah, dog. Hey man. Hey man. Let me let me ask you one question. Is cable going to stop them from putting you out? Like hey no, you can't put me out. I got cable, see? No. So, I want you to think about your expenses and I want you to think about these challenges. These challenges exist for one reason and one reason only. To bridge the gap. For you to have those things, for you to have a safety net, for you to have a nest egg. For you have a gang of money in your account just chilling where you ain't worried about nothing. Or as I would say, you ain't worried about nothing. That is where I want you to be. That is where you should be. So challenges, you need to charge up. Okay, you need to charge up. Look in the, descri look in the description for the links for Wellfront and Stash. And these are just to help you to bridge the gap, to surpass and pass the challenges and do what you need to do. This is Ross World. I'm out.